Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh ooh. I said cognac, ooh ooh ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. Welcome back. I'm Cognac Guadalene, and we are here at this fabulous restaurant, Chez La Chef, just in time for Christmas. What a fabulous location right here on Lexington Avenue in the Murray Hill District. And I am here with Chef Frederick. Yes. Chef Frederick, who has had this wonderful establishment, this wonderful dining establishment since 1985. That's correct. 1985. Wow. I was on the Upper East Side before for eight years, and I'm here now for about 15 years. Now, why did you make that switch? I made that switch because uh, first we had problems with renting the place over there, and uh, you know you have to think very well business-wise about it, and. You know, I this building was for sale, so I said, okay. So I you got, bought the I building. I bought this one, you know. Well, you were very smart to buy this building, yes. and to put this wonderful restaurant in the building, and this is like the perfect restaurant to come at Christmas time. It's charming. It's quaint. It's cozy. It looks like Christmas, and you look like Santa. Oh, oh thank you. Yes. <laughs> and everybody tells you that I'm sure. Everybody, everybody does. tells you that as you look like Santa. As soon as I open Santa. the doors, I oh Santa, how are you? Santa, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> yes. Now you received your culinary culinary experience from Germany. From Germany, yes. I was best pastry chef in Germany. That's Tell my audience the school that you studied at. The school I studied? Um, I went to do my master degree after okay. studying. Um, first I was in Hamburg uh, at, the, at the school for three years because we have a three years apprenticeship in, in Europe, you know, not like here. When you just put a vest on and you don't say, yeah, I'm a chef. You know, but uh, there we have to study three years intensely. We have to know about everything, about eggs, about chocolate, about butter, about everything flour, everything, we have to study all and that. Then I did school. later on, I did in, in Wolfenbüttel in Germany, I did my master's degree in pastry and baking. And I became one of the best pastry chefs in Germany. My goodness. I was under the first five. So forget about the dinner, let's do the dessert, yes. right? Yes, yes, that's right, right. Well, now tell my audience, why do you love to cook so much? Where did that all come from? Why I love to cook, you know, it's very simple. I came from a very poor family in Germany, and um, at the time it was, you know, time to go and work. I had to look for something that, uh, that I could bring home to feed the family. And um, there was one of those uh, Konditorei, uh, you know, which is a pastry shop, patisserie in Germany. And they, was, they were looking for, for an apprentice. And I went there and was hired for three years and went to school and all that other stuff, you know. And voila, we're here at this charming voila. bistro style French and German in Midtown inspired, Manhattan. In Midtown Manhattan. Yeah. 127, right? That's 127 yeah. Lexington 127 Avenue. 127 Lexington Avenue in this charming Between 28 and restaurant. 29th Street. Yeah. Now you have prepared a feast. This is a, a wide array of appetizers and eggs. Do you right. know for your brunches here? Oh, the brunches, they're very famous. The brunches are very famous because first of it, we have um, an accordion player who plays uh, Parisian music like 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 in Paris in Montmartre 
and um, the restaurant is always packed Saturday and Sunday for brunch. we're looking at right here. This dish right here, this is your fam famous omelette, am I right Very about that? Very famous, the farmer's omelette, yes. It is a German farmer's omelette. Um, it's just fresh vegetables with a little sausage and, and uh, potatoes and a little garlic, touch of garlic and onion. Yummy. Yes, it's absolutely great. Everybody loved that, that's number one. And the second one is the ham and cheese croissant. It's a croissant uh, filled like a sandwich with scrambled eggs and ham and cheese. And people just love it. And those who are vegetarian, they have it with vegetables and scrambled eggs, or with cheese only. Mm -hmm. Now these accompaniments right here, yes. what are we looking at here? You have like a, it looks like... A little pate, pate, yeah, a little pate. The pate appetizer is one of the favorite appetizers here because it's a French pate, um, which we serve as an appetizer and a glass of red wine this is with a that. wonderful selection of food. Tell my audience, more importantly, when they come to dine here at uh, Chez Le Chef, yes. for dinner, let's say when they want to have a candlelight dinner, which yes. is right around the time we're dining here tonight, what is the, what does everybody come just for dinner? What would they love to eat here? What would they pick? What would they choose? We have, we have different type of dishes. We have a vegetarian dish, we have a fish dish, and we have a chicken dish, and we have as well a beef dish. So in general, what we have uh, almost, almost every day is the coco van, chicken and wine sauce. Oh, that sounds delicious. Chicken and wine sauce with vegetables and garlic mashed potatoes. And we have as well a Hungarian goulash, that oh. is beef with tomato, uh, tomato based with paprika and and Arab de Provence as well. And um, we serve it with garlic mashed potatoes. Can serve it with noodles as well. But we have the as a fish, we have a salmon fillet, or we have an herbal flounder fillet with ratatouille niçoise, garlic mashed potatoes as well. And uh, the ratatouille niçoise is a mixture of vegetables like eggplant, zucchini, tomatoes, onion, and uh, herbs, fresh herbs. I use a lot of fresh herbs. That's why we are well known for in all our egg dishes you have the herbe de Provence. And the herbe de Provence contain as well lavender. If there's no lavender in the herbe de Provence, it's not herbe de Provence, it's just an imitation. Interesting. That's a very good tip that you just yes. told my audience. It's an imitation. Yeah. It Imit must have lavender. It must have lavender as well, yes. And it has tarragon, it has oregano, it has majoran, it has thyme, it has dill, it has parsley, a little garlic, onion, pepper. Mm -hmm. You also lavender. have a steak dish too, don't you? The steak dish is nice as well, yes. People love the um, uh, flank steak, for example. It's uh, a little bit sliced with a nice little cream sauce and mm -hmm. herb de Provence naturally as well. And uh, we serve it with roast, uh, rosemary roasted potatoes, which is a big specialty in the restaurant here too. People love rosemary roasted potatoes. I don't do French fries at German. all. It's very German, yes. that the potatoes that you just described. It's a very, yes. it's a true ethnic German dish. Exactly, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The roasted potatoes. Yeah, that's what we want to, that's what we want to present here in, in Midtown Manhattan because I think we are the only French-German restaurant. I love it. There's, there's in Manhattan. I think there are a lot of French restaurants and a few of newcomers but um, uh, the only German-French restaurant that's it's over there. It's German with a flair of French in it. That's correct. And you know why? Because I lived most of my life in Paris. I worked at the Ritz Hotel in Paris. I worked at uh, Chez Edgar in oh. Paris. And it's like one of my favorite cities. I, I love, I, you know, I stayed in a hotel right around the corner from the Champs-Élysées, the Napoleon Hotel I stayed. Yeah. I loved it. It was no, just the most beautiful city in the whole world. It is. It's, it's an absolutely beautiful city. Unfortunately, I left um, Paris now because my apartments were occupied by squatters and that is a horrible thing in France, you know, so I don't want uh, to talk too much about that, but I just sold my oh, apartment Chef in Amsterdam. Frederick, you described all the array of uh, dining here for dinner, for the candlelight dinner, but you must have a favorite dinner. What is your favorite dinner that you like to eat? My favorite dinner is sauerbraten. Really? I do German sauerbraten with red cabbage and mashed potatoes. 
Well, maybe I should get that for dinner. That is absolutely great. You know, so um, I don't have that every day because the beef has to marinate at least at least a week. It's not an overnight thing. It has to marinate at least a week in the marinade. But then that's then, your favorite. Yeah, then it becomes very tender and, and nice, you know. Wow. You don't need wow. Any, any MSG and stuff like that. You don't need No that. MSG, no. folks. You hear that? <laughs> Darlings, when you dine here at Chez La Chef, only the best, Our very garlic. best. German organic food with French flair. Yes. Now, we're going to talk about the desserts later. We'll be back in a moment, darlings. Don't go away. More with the dessert. Keep watching Pink Champagne Kisses. for dessert and we're here with these special French cakes right what am I looking at right here it's a specialty in France Buche de Noël the Yule Lock Wow we do everything it's here. beautiful yes and it's decorated nicely and uh, you know you can slice it this size for example is for like seven people six seven people you know and I think it's a beautiful Decoration in the middle of the table on your Christmas dinner. You can order those for ahead of time. Two people, tete a tete dessert for Christmas. It's just very tiny and small, but you can order them as well. Please order in time because I only do orders for Christmas. You hear that, darlings? We must do this ordering as soon as possible because it's only how many days till Christmas? This I is December 10th already. Two weeks exactly With for all Christmas. With this said and done, the dining, the dessert. What it kind of wine should, would, should we um, drink with much. the meal? Yeah. Um, wine, we have wonderful red wines, Syrah wine from, uh, from, um, um, from Montevideo in, in Uruguay. We have uh, as well from uh, France and from Germany. I have a wonderful Riesling, not very sweet. People always say it's sweet, the Riesling. Mine is not very sweet, it's medium dry and excellent, excellent wines, for example, with, uh, with the Christmas goose. If we have enough reservations for Christmas, I may Stollen. be open on Christmas I have Eve. almost forgotten about that. That's the German Stollen. We just baked them yesterday, and uh, it's a very traditional uh, Christmas morning uh, breakfast uh, um, item, or for tea with a wonderful cup of Earl Grey tea, you know? Yeah. Um, yes, we have we bake our breads and uh, things over here, you know, and then a very nice specialty uh, a spread on your bread the is the homemade blueberries, apples, and uh, plums, and everything mixed. And it's Virginia, homemade you jam. were talking to me before about some of the famous faces that have come to dine at this establishment. Tell my audience some of the famous people that have eaten here. Some of them, uh, we had the mayor of uh, New York, Mr. Bloomberg here, and we had the um, famous opera singer Placido Domingo, and one of his famous students who is actually in Moscow, Mr. Olmedo, and uh, we had Whitney Houston here, years back, sitting on this table, and she loved my curry chicken salad. Wow. And um, we had Iman here. She's gorgeous. David I saw yes. there's a lot of pictures with you and Dr. Ruth. She must love you. We had, yes, and we had Honest That's going to be your next wife. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, we she's singing Coleman now, yeah. here. I do his birthday cakes as well. And uh, we had sometimes the uh, three oldest judges of New York here. They had their birthday parties here in January. There you go. Yeah. All the stars that have come to dine here. And many, many people come here. And now Cognac's been here. Now Cognac has That's been here. Right. That's right. That's yes. right. And we're going to toast. We're going to toast to a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas and a Happy, happy and a New Year. And a fabulous dinner, right? Thank you. Cheers. Give me a Christmas kiss, darling. And we'll be back in a moment, darling, with more interviews right here at Chez La Chef, located at 127 Lexington Avenue. Pink champagne kisses. Fantasy dress to impress. One of a kind girl. 
has been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.